look how beautiful and realistic this video and this was generated on a local computer this is thanks to the new model release from alibaba demo academy it's a van 2.2 in this video i want look, closer look on this model what it does make it different why it's perform so good and how you can set up and how you can work with this model to make renders even better so let's go ahead dive in all links what i about resources i'm going to use in this video will be down below in descriptions for you well let's go ahead and start first looking on the what model can do and why it's so good it seems like only in february 2025 we have the model van 2.1 it was literally a revolutionary model because it was using combination with vice and also july now the 2.2 model which has come with very interesting approach how they was doing they are separated have it larger and smaller scale details or higher details to model so it generate video in two passes and it's heavily integrated with vase inside well vase 2.0 it stands for video aware cross model encoder and in version 2.0 which is used inside the van 2.2 it is a multi-stage transformer based on a model that allowed uh, temporary and, and uh, spatial awareness. So it's uh, across all frames to keep it a consistency. It's got cross-model understanding. So it's including smooth transitions, zoom and tracking shots, and it's have it realistic camera movements. So including like uh, zoom transitions, uh, tracking, shots this is combination it's what kind of embed with this model so it's also support the emotional expressive motions like lighting changes um, and scenes continue and this is definitely one of architectural features will set the van 2.2 apart from other open sources video models van 2.2 it's natively supported 1080p cinematic quality so it's meaning you don't need it used upscaler however you can if you want to upscale to 4k but it is natively 1080p it is have an enhanced motion and camera control how says by power the vase 2.0 they also have an emotional expressive character modeling it's including pause uh, latent transformer and expression aware modeling for um, nuances facial body gestures uh, the scenes feels more immersive with this and more emotionally dreaming you will notice also as we look it support multimodal input so it's have a text static images a pose sketchers it also allowed the lora sign fine tunes which is already model one pre-trained to allow it extensively using loras with this it is enable style fusion and preview control with a few shots tuning and mainly it's a release under open source with apache 2.0 license but tell you to render this good image it's come with a price for example for these five seconds videos it took a and you can see right here for two passes i will explain why two passes it's taken one hour 31 minutes and about the same for the both it's run on rtx 3090 and if you don't have it, this card or have it smaller you may have it even a little bit more problem and this is the reason why I think this solution from sponsor of this video will be useful to you. Quit hopping between video clean and runaway. Polo AI puts every top image and video model in one browser tab. Take easy for instant templates or canvas 
for the pro workbench with layers, history, and after save. Chat to image, it's much easier to create now and bring your ideas to life. Just go to chat to image, it will open for you the navigations. Down here, type prompt what you want it. And below, you can select how many images you want to generate. Keep in mind, each image take about five credits. So if you generate four images, it will take about 20 credits. And shortly after, you'll have it your initial image generate. To create beautiful animations from your image, go inside the image to video. Here, you can select from your already pre-created images or download it directly from your computer. Select aspect ratio, click OK, and just select model that you want to use it to generate with your videos. Polo AI have it a big collection of latest models available to generate your video. But this is all just beginning what Polo AI can create. If you're going inside the effects tab, you can see a lot of fun and inspirational videos you can create from your images. AI tools provide you advanced functionality, for example, like lip sync or animate your old photos. And you can Try this for free by creating about two videos with pay account. You won't have it any watermark and can create a bit longer video. But remember to check daily because you will get a special bonus for daily check in. If juggling APIs kill your flow, give Polo AI a spin. Link below for free credits. Now back to main video. And if you still want to try run on your computer with video card, 8 gigabyte or 12 gigabyte that is okay stay here to the end of the video and i will show you solution for cards with a low vram well let's go right now look on some workflows the nice things about this you can go and actually download it directly workflow from the website link down below but you don't need to because they include it with the latest update on comp ui be sure you have it one if you go and help and click on about you'll notice it's comp ui 0.3.47 i think 46 even already included but be sure you have it a latest my recommendation on how to update it is going to your um, directory where you install comp ui going to update folder and right here just run this update comp ui and python dependency i would recommend run this batch because it is will going over all additional libraries and update and i noticed some will was updated and some other python files was updated with this but if you don't want to do all big way you can run just update comp ui batch file and it will update to latest version of the comp ui which is included those workflows inside the installations be sure that after installations you do um, restart your server okay you can find those new files if you're going to workflow browse template you click on a video and right here you'll notice you have the van 2.2 notice it's a 14b so it's a bigger model for them and you have it another one with 5b little bit smaller available as well and it's going text to video image to video and video generation with smaller so let's see what we have right here you can see one it is image generating to the um video and it does very good job right here it's generating from the image however let me show you one thing you do lose some digitalizations let me show you initial image and if we go on top you can see right here our initial image and if we going by little bit you can see how digitalization slightly gone and it's loose so it does have it um the effect of removing details uh, mostly uh, on the movements but its possibilities also was related to the prompt need a little bit more defined but we are having this kind of blurring smudging going primarily you can see on details on the model right here and you can see how it did kind of changing a little bit from original so that does happen with image and you kind of keep this in mind but when you do with anime it's actually perform much better and you can see right here very fast was performing and i did very good job on this as well creating on an image 
If we come look closer on the workflow when we're loading, you'll notice you have right here load models. And first, what is kind of jump in the eyes is these two models. If you see one is have a high noise and one another one's have a low noise. So they're two different processors. And if we follow the path, you'll notice we have a 2K sampler. So it's running from first high noise and after take our process and running from low noise and after going in the code. If you wonder what's happening, well, I was wondering as well. So I run this. All what I did it, I just add output. Remember, because it's not necessarily image what you expect, like not sharp details, because it's still working with their own uh, pre-trained model. But just curiosity, you know, sometimes nice to do. And this is what's happening. Our output, if you just put it on the beginning, in just a bunch of noise. And right here you can see this is a latent space. We just visualized a little bit on this. And of course, the second pass, we add details. This is what we have it after generating. This is generating from the text and all settings for this was by default. Usually it's how I approach. I creating um, test run and just see how it's work with this. Well, this is require a lot of memory and I was running to about 23. My video card have a 24 um, gigabyte VRAM and it was using about 23 of them. But I will also provide the link so you can utilize uh, these different models. You can download it and reuse them. Notice what they include in this high noise and you'll have a GGFU. So if these quantized models, they're quite a bit smaller. To use ones, you can go from the number. Remember Q2, it will have it the worst compression that we can compare to compression. It's a, the most data will be lost, but they're also very small ones. So, and if you're going higher, Q8 will be the best resolutions, but it is 15. And if you wonder how to compare to your video card, you just go to next number up. For example, 15, it's meaning my 16 gigabyte video card will work on this or 24 but my 12 won't work because it's a little bit above this so then 12 10 for 12 and so on so you're just going if your video card is 8 then you download it 6 or whatever the one below okay this is high noise if you saw we have it before we also have it there low noise we have it two models to run through this is another one and we also have it via for this notice it's via 2.1 which is still working with our 2.2 .2 in this case. It does generate great images. It's have a very good consistency and other things. The only my personal things was problem. It is it's taken it three hours on my machine to render five seconds of the 1080p highest resolution full model here. Um, so my computer, it is I'm running on AMD. 9900X with a 900 uh, with a 96 gigabyte RAM, and I have an RTX 3090 with a 24 gigabyte RAM. So if you have a better video card, your time maybe will be a little bit faster. But this is what's happening on my machine currently, and I have a clean installation, so I don't have any a lot of stuff running on a background. So this is uh, almost like pure power dedicated to this and this is how long taking i will be interested to see from you if you install it how long time it take to create this test animation is what i did it i just download the workflow used all things as default except i did add this curiosity node it's what i will call it okay so i was interested from you if you try it what you have what performance how it's work on your machine let me know down and below in comments Thank you for watching this video. So please remember support by subscribing, liking and share with your friends and we'll see you next time. Bye.